If you're a copywriter, you know that there's some idealized ideas about what copywriting actually means. People think you sit and you creatively put ideas together. But the truth is, it's more like a blacksmith at a forge, really hammering out something that is half decent at your computer for hours at a time. The good news is there are a few AI tools that you can use that will help you save tons of time and produce really good content. They are Jasper, Scalenut, Copy AI, WriteSonic, and Hypotenuse. So as always, links will be in the description below. Start off by going over to jasper.ai and let's have a look here. Gives us an option to try Jasper for free, which is great. We're going to install the Chrome extension. You can see here that it's quite expensive. We're looking at $39 a month. That's annually, so monthly will be a bit more. $99 for a full team. Uh, let's see if we can test it out though without having to pay for it. Okay, and unfortunately, it's not letting us proceed without actually paying for it. And a quick Google search says that, you know what, you get a seven day trial period, but that's about it. So we're not going to go ahead and do that. So let's move on to the next one, which is scalenut.com. And let's have a look in terms of pricing. We've got a $39 per month if you're paying monthly and yeah, 100,000 words for $39 a month, more than enough for the average copywriter, maybe not for novels. Um, but again, unfortunately, just like Jasper, we need to put in our credit card details in order to get a seven day free trial. Yes, yes, it's sad, but don't worry. That's the extent of the disappointment that we're going to have. The next AI tools are free and they are freemium based and we can actually explore them. So let's start with copy.ai. Okay, it brings us over to the copy AI page. And once we've signed in and created an account, we get access to a whole lot of cool stuff here. So the first thing on the interface here is we can choose, we can do a real time search, we can do long form content, it can even help us brainstorm some ideas. So what we're going to try out is we're going to give it a prompt and ask it to summarize the latest AI news. And the cool thing about it is it actually pulls up relevant sources. So it has it has access to the internet and we can go and check out the article that it's pulled up. That's pretty cool. Let's head over to another function and see what it can do here. So we can ask it for a prompt. I'm going to ask for time, travel, holidays, holiday ideas in terms of an itinerary. And I'm going to first thing I'm going to do is ask it to improve my prompt, which is a function that it has. And you'll see that it immediately improves the prompt. And there's a highlighted area over here, which is interesting. And if I... Oh. Jasper is back. And there you go. If you click on Jasper, it's going to tell you that uh, you haven't completed your account because you have not given your credit card details. My um, advice here is delete the Chrome extension. Otherwise, it's going to bother you without helping you. <laughs> so let's move on. We go back to uh, the let's go back to our prompt and let's see what it creates. And you'll notice it creates it didn't give a specific error. So we have to now add that in the prompt, give it specific errors. And now that we've done that, it gives us a nice little itinerary, which is half decent. Uh, I could have probably improved the prompt a bit more, but that's not bad altogether. And then we can go ahead and add this to our editor. And in our editor, we can change the boldness. We can add headings to it. So we can actually go ahead and get this ready for export straight to our sites if we want to. There's a whole lot of different prompts that we can use with there's a plump prompt library here, which is great. It has a memory in terms of the chat. So it'll follow through on exactly what we would like to do following the thread of the data that we've given it, which is also great. Then there's this brand voice function, which is pretty awesome, right? So if we give it a little bit of text, it's going to analyze that brand uh, voice and the cool thing about it is it's going to condense it. It's going to make sure that we are happy with what it says. And then if we save, 
this brand voice, we can then apply it to all of our projects. Now, if you're the kind of person that deals with a client base where you are copywriting for clients, this is a brilliant tool for you because it's going to create something that is authentic. Look at this. I'm going to ask it to use that brand voice to create 10 pieces of content for me. It goes ahead and finds decent quotes that are really that fit my brand. Then I ask it to create a video script from these and it tells me, well, you've kind of run out of credits, so I'll need to sign up to the account for that. If you look at that pro unlimited words, we're looking at about $36 a month. Then if we look at the template library, we can go ahead and do a whole lot of stuff. So it's a really functional uh, platform in terms of copywriting. You can even do wedding vows. That's pretty amazing. Then we have the info base, which is going to teach us how to get maximize and get the most out of the platform. We can even go ahead and create workflows. So if you if you need to create a workflow in terms of uh, what needs to happen when, it'll be able to do that for you. So that was copy.ai. Next, let's go to writesonic.com. And in Writesonic, we're gonna go ahead and have a look. This is a feature full platform. There's a lot going on on Writesonic and you're looking at starting packages starting at about $16 a month. Well, starting at starting at $12 a month, you can get quite a lot of features available to you. We're going to go through some of the features that are here so that you can we can get a feel for them. As you can see, there's also the brand voice there. We have a whole lot of templates that we can use. We can change tone. We can analyze text. We can even translate and in, in this app. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the AI writer and we're going to ask it for, um, again, the same prompt. It's going to ask me for a reference point. So it gives me a bunch of articles to choose from. I choose the ones that I like, and then I give it additional information. I want it to, I want it to be fun. I want it to be humorous. I add that in, and then I need to create a brand voice. So I'm going to create a unique brand voice here. I've gone over to ChatGPT and I've asked it to create uh, a fun brand voice for this time travel brand. And as you can see, uh, I put it after I've put in the content, it gives me a summarized version and I'm quite happy with that. So I'm going to go ahead and save that, add this information in again. I make sure that I've I've added the brand voice. Now, in terms of the quality type, I can have a superior option, which is chat GPT for uh, integrated. I'm not going to pay for that option. So unfortunately, only the premium option is available, which isn't bad. And look at that. There is the article. It gives me a picture. I love the fact that it gives me headings and subheadings. Uh, I can even do SEO integrations here and make sure that I have all my SEO correct, which is fantastic. Uh, it's given me a proper itinerary as well, so I couldn't ask for anything more there, I suppose. And yeah, the, the humor is pretty good. It's uh, it, it's decent for, for what we've put in in this short period of time. Okay, then we can go ahead and create a public link to it. We can also download it in multiple forms. We can upload it directly to WordPress, which is fantastic. And then there's a bunch of other features here. So we've got Botsonic, which is a bot creator. So you can go ahead and create your own bot on this platform. We've got ChatSonic, which is a uh, ChatGPT alternative. And then you've got this current personality function where you can ask it to be, to, to be a motivational coach. So I'm asking it for some motivation advice which it does quite neatly. It has a bulk generate feature where we can go ahead and generate bulk content uh, for social media. We also have a Photosonic, which is the uh, image generating software. The images aren't great, but you know what? It's there. So those are the features of Writesonic. Next, let's head over to hypotenuse.ai. So first thing over here, let's just check pricing. Individuals, you're looking at about $15 a month and you've got 25,000 words per month included in that. So not as much wording, but at the same time, there's quite a lot that I like about this platform. So if we look at first thing we're going to start off with, it's going to ask us for a key focus area, three key focus areas, and I've put mine down. Let's let, head over to the template library and we're going to look at what it can do. I'm going to go to the ask AI anything function. And the cool thing about this is we can mention, we can have a tone to it immediately. So I'm going to give it the same instruction, uh, but I'm going to ask for a humorous tone and let's see what it creates. And what I like about it is this is genuinely funny. 
Okay, I mean, if you look at the first one here, Destination 1, Ancient Rome, 50 BC, we'll start our journey in one of the grandest eras of Rome. I know you've always wanted to experience a real gladiator battle, so I've pulled some strings and gotten us seats right near the action, right? I really like the tone of this, and the humor here is probably better than all the other apps uh, put together. I can copy this to my editor, and now I can go ahead and do a plagiarism check. I can even change the, the language if I want to, so that's great. Then there's other features like a product description where you can actually go ahead and create a new catalog for your product descriptions. Same thing with bulk generates where you can add in a CSV file. It'll generate bulk content for you. Next thing and final thing I wanted to check out, I want to show you is this hypo chat. So the hypo chat, it has two features to it, right? And we have depth and we have speed. Now speed is going to give us a result very, very quickly. And I've asked it for the best cheeseburgers around. It gives me a list that I can work with, with a little bit of detail. Now, if I put the same prompt in and I ask it to turn this into an article about cheeseburger, but now I go for depth, watch the difference that it makes. Same results, but look at the in-depth nature of the result that it's given me. So in terms of content creation, this is definitely a great tool that you can use. Just a recap of the pricing. And there we go. That was jasper.ai, scalenut, copy.ai, write sonic, and hypotenuse. And as always, if you've enjoyed the content, remember to like and subscribe for more videos just like this.